Hey guys, so I wanted to uh, take some time to talk to you about one of my favorite shows from back in the day, uh, Orphan Black. Now, before we get into this, as always, like, comment, subscribe to the video and to the page uh, so I can feel it like you guys are actually interacting with me. Um, Orphan Black is a sci-fi show that lasted for five seasons uh, starring Tatiana Maslany. The incomprehensible Tatiana Maslany. That's how good this show was. Uh, so Tatiana stars as a woman named Sarah, who has a daughter named Kira. And she's kind of like a streetwise, not doing too well on life person, right? Um, she sees this woman at a train station who looks exactly like her, and the woman commits suicide. So upon this woman committing suicide, Sarah's like, I'm going to steal her identity. I'm going to, she looks like she was a well-off woman. I'm going to steal everything and, you know, take over her life. And this will make my life better. Um, she soon realizes that this woman didn't just look like her. This woman was her clone. And there are more of them. Uh, this show just takes off in such an exciting way from the first episode on. Um through the seasons. I mean, there were some lull parts of every season as there is with any show, but the show was just groundbreaking, more so showing Tatiana's range in acting. When I tell you, I don't remember how many clones there ended up being like more than two though. You would think it was a different actress each time a person showed up. Like seriously, hand to God, you thought it was a different actress every time. And so much so that as you get into the show by like season three, four, you will see Tatiana come on screen and you'll know which clone she's actually playing just because of the way she acts. It, it, it was just brilliant. The storyline was great as well. The storyline continued to be great. However, I will say her acting is probably what will keep you more into this show. Uh, again, it ran for about five seasons. It uh, received some awards once it was eligible to. It is a, uh, it's a, British-based show, though I believe it takes place in Canada, um, but eventually they were eligible for Emmys and she start, she did start winning them. Where you can find this show, uh, it, unfortunately because the show was on for a while and a long time ago, the only place I believe it's available, I'm going to actually check for you guys. So the only place this show looks like it's available for free technically free, uh, is Amazon Prime. It looks like if you have an Amazon Prime membership, you'll be able to watch it. Uh, if you have a YouTube premium membership, you'll be able to watch it. I highly suggest you check out the show. If you're a sci-fi lover, if you like this, the show also runs like a, um, not a cop drama, not a crime drama, sort of crime thriller-ish. It's not straight sci-fi. It's not at all. Um, in fact, I dare say if it was straight sci-fi, a lot of people wouldn't have stayed with the show for so long. It 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 has humor in it, of course, because uh, it's British based, and um, it I, yeah, it's it's like a sci-fi crime thriller comedy, you know. And but it hits all the points it needs to hit. Check it out. Let me know if you like it. Uh, and again, like, comment, subscribe, and, and, and give me some feedback on shows you guys want me to check out or uh, shows that I probably have already seen that I didn't give a review on and you would like me to give a review on. Orphan Black, check it out. Amazon Prime. Find you someone with an Amazon Prime membership and and, and get your binge on because you'll, you'll enjoy this binge. If you like sci-fi, if you like thriller, drama, comedies, you'll, you'll like this show.